Hi, I'm John Clothier and welcome to my channel. So as you can see, I'm not in the workshop today. I'm actually at the Emporium in Nen Court. And this is where, as you can see, some of my pens and other things are for sale. I've been looking at my pens recently and think that they're not really shown off in their best light. I need to find some way of displaying them better. I've got an idea. Let's go back to the workshop. Okay, so to kick this project off, I've got a couple of scrap bits of plywood here. I've got some 18mm and a big bit of 9mm ply. To start with, I'm going to concentrate on the, the back piece, which is what all the pens are going to slot onto. Now, I've got some of my pens here. So I've just been laying them out and playing around with how far apart I think they should be. And I've worked out that about 30mm between, uh, between the centres of the pens gives a quite a nice look. It doesn't put too many up there, doesn't cram them too close together. So what I've got is this, say this 18mm piece of ply. I'm going to mark out on it 30 mil increments. So go with the little lines at 30 mil. Then I'm going to take it over to the router table where I will router out a slot for each of the pens. So I'm over here at the router table and I've got a round bit into the router and it's about 12, 13 mil across and it's about six mil, we're poking up about six mil from the table. Just here, I've marked a line in pencil of the center point of where the bit is. And that is central to the mitre gauge that I've got set up here. I'll put a little bit of an extension on it because this is gonna have a piece of wood sticking out from it quite far. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my piece of board and I'm gonna line up that line with the line that I've marked on the edge and then just pass it through one after the other. I found cutting these uh, recesses out on the router table a little bit harder than I first thought it would be. I found it tended to wander around a little bit, so I haven't ended up with the straightest of cuts, but I don't think that really matters. The finish isn't great either, but again, that's not gonna matter because this is all gonna be covered later. The first one of these grooves um, is actually the wonkiest, which is kind of handy because what it means is I can lose that one because I did an extra one, and just use this section here and not worry about it. So what I've done is I've marked a line just inside, or just on the outside, depending on how you look at it, uh, of this edge. And I've also taken the same measurement, which is about 10 millimeters, and put a line the other end as well. So what I'm going to do is take this over to the table saw, cut off this end and cut off this end, and that's gonna give me my length. I then need to consider the, the height or the depth, depending on yeah, how you wanna look at it. So I've been looking at my pen, and as you can see, there's a massive discrepancy at the moment between the size of this and the pen size. And that was intentional because I also need to cut this at an angle. I want this board to sit at a 45 degree angle when the pens are displayed on it. So having cut these two bits off, I will also true up one end at 45 degrees. Once I've done that, I've taken a measurement of my pen, which is about 130 millimeters. So I'm gonna take another cut with the same angle, but the other direction, so that I've got a flat, the angle, and the flat. And I'm gonna do that at 140 millimeters, just to give me that little bit of extra room. And once I've done that, that will be that piece done. So back from the table saw, this piece is now done. Um, I've just given it a little bit of a light sand, especially on these edges here. And this is gonna sit at this kind of 45 degree angle. So what I now need is a couple of supports for out here. So back at the bench now, and all the pieces are cut out. We've talked about this piece, and we've walked through the process of creating it. The same with these two bits. 
We've also got these two pieces here. So let me just go through and explain what all these pieces are gonna do and why they're the sizes that they are. So this piece here is 10 inches wide. Or a little under that actually, but give or take it's 10 inches. And that's because where this is gonna go, it can be no more than 10 inches deep. I also cut it to the same length as this piece, and this piece is also the same length as well. Now, this piece also has a 45 degree angle on it here. And what's gonna happen is this piece will sit flushly onto here. Then we'll have two supports. And this piece has been cut so that it sits perfectly on the top. If it's flush with the back, flush with the front, and the slope continues upwards. Now, why you may be asking is the base wider? Well, when this is built, this piece is actually gonna sit right at the back. So we've got a little bit at the front um, and you'll see what we're gonna do with that in a bit. Anyway, what we need to do now is give it a quick coat of black paint. I'm gonna be coating the whole thing with a sticky on black velvet, but just in case there's any little gaps that I miss, the, the light color of the wood is gonna really show through. Whereas if it's all black, you're not gonna see it, even if there's no actual velvet there. So let's get it all sprayed up. Now let's leave that to dry. So all the black paint is now dry and it's time to coat it in the felt. So I've chosen this blue, this royal blue, because the royal blue really does help to make the pen stand out nicely. What I'm gonna do is I've cut a strip that's a bit wider than the piece that I've got here that I want to coat. And I've kept it long because I don't know how much I'm gonna need when I go in inside all of the, the recesses. Now this is sticky backed, so I can just peel it off and start applying it. So I'm gonna get this one done. I'll get all the other pieces coated as well. And then we can start the assembly. So that's all the felting done. Now you may notice that this piece has got an extra bit added to it that wasn't there before. When I sort of did a dry run assemble, I discovered that the pens were slipping out this way, or slipping downwards. So all I've done is just a small strip of uh, nine mil ply across the front with a 45 degree angle on it. Okay, so now it's time to put it together. Now because of the felt, I can't really use screws or glue, because um, I don't want to see the screws and obviously it's not going to work with glue with the felt so what i'm going to be using is my brad nailer so i'm going to start from the bottom and i'm going to take the base making sure it's on the i've got the bottom at the top and my first angled piece now i know that if i push this right to the back and line it up on the side that'll be in the right place so that's both the two side bits done now i'm going to put on the front and that should sit in there quite nicely Now for the top. So that's the main part of it done. Now I'm gonna make up a little LED light to go across the front. So I've taken these two, I've got these two bits of uh, nine mil plywood and they're both the same length as the front of the unit. And one of them's just about a millimeter or two millimeters wider than the other one. And what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna glue them together and give them a bit of a nailing just so that it can hold while the glue dries and then I'm going to give them a little coat of black paint, put the felt around it and put an LED strip on it. Right, so now all I need to do is attach the LEDs. Now, I've got one of these really cheap LED kits off of Amazon, and it's one, it's only a, it's only white, doesn't do RGB or anything, 
And what I need to do is to find out the length of this and find the nearest, but it needs to be under the length, of the cut marks so that I can trim this to length. Now looking at this, it's going to be this one here, I think, because the next one's here and that's too far away, so it will need to be this one. So, scissors. So now what I can do is attach the LEDs. Now, of course, I've got to consider about the uh, the cable and which way around I want it. And I want it to come out of the right-hand side. So I make sure it's that way around. And now what I can do is I can stick that in the recess. Right, so that's my strip. Now all I need to do is attach this to the baseboard. So this needs to attach to the front here. Now this time I'm going to use screws rather than the nails because this way it gives me the option of removing it and I will do that from underneath. Just like you asked me to. It's in my... Okay, so that's that attached. Um, so now I can take the control box for it, plug that in, take the power, and plug that in. And now when we switch it on, we have lights. So I've got a couple of pens here. Um, so you can kind of see how how it would look. And see so with the LED lights on, just gives it that little bit extra bit of bling. So back to the shop now, and the pens are now in their new home, and I think that looks so much better. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon for the next project. <laughs>